Hello again, Carrie Lake here for the Gosar Minute. I'm here in Washington, D.C., and just this week, the U.S. Supreme Court heard oral arguments on an important abortion case called Dobbs v. Jackson. Legal scholars have noted that there is a potential conservative majority on the court, in large part thanks to President Trump, that could reverse or limit the unprecedented and wildly inappropriate court ruling of Roe v. Wade. Prior to Roe, each state could pass its own laws regarding the sanctity of life. Some states allow abortions, some states did not. The court in Roe engaged in legislative policy making and fabricated a right to an abortion that does not exist in the Constitution. That desecration of our Constitution may be remedied by the court in Dobbs. Time will tell and a decision is expected next year. One senator, Jean Shaheen, stated that if the Supreme Court modifies Roe v. Wade, our country will see a revolution. This is threatening talk, and it will not intimidate Supreme Court, justices, or others, including Congressman Gosar, who has voted in favor of pro-life policies throughout his career. As a mother, I join Congressman Gosar in praying for God's guidance to the Supreme Court and an end to this national disgrace created under Roe v. Wade. This has been Carrie Lake for the Gosar Minute in Washington, D.C.